again, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. And today we have the Cloister Shell Chevron. Yep. And I really, really love how this came out. And I think you guys are going to as well. So a little bit of a backstory. Ages ago, did a shawl called the Cloister Shell Shawl. And since then, a number of blankets and different varieties and so forth and other projects. I think I even did a poncho at one point. And I was inspired by the stitch to create a chevron blanket. Really, really love this. Now, for this particular piece, I used actually three different color ombres uh, with the... Here we are. Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. I know, I've been using this a lot in you know, quite a few of my videos lately. I don't know. It's just, I really dig this. Uh, by the way, not sponsored, but I always like to let you know what it is that I use in case if you want to try to duplicate the results. So I used about five skeins of this for this particular project in the colorways of True Blue, Baja Blue, and Violet. And as far as yardage goes, it's about 482 yards. Now, I did need five skeins uh, for my particular blanket. However, uh, I didn't end up finishing two of the skeins, but I needed them in order to keep going with the patterning. Um, so basically, I started with the, the true blue, then worked into the Baja blue, and then into the the violet here as you can see and so the pattern itself is just a two row repeat mm -hmm. and each of these shells is you know when you reach the the shell row that's the the second row of the repeat and so i did five repeats of each color to create a nice wide stripe as you can see so from here down to here, that's a total of 10 rows. So it's two, four, six, eight, and 10, right up there. So to give you a basic idea. Uh, now, of course, you can use whatever yarn works best for you. Uh, also, I used for this project a six, I promise you it, yes, it is a six millimeter crochet hook. It's a size J. And also, yes, I am going to give you the, the multiple so that you can make this project as wide or as narrow as you want to. So if you want a really, really huge blanket or a baby blanket or a wrap, what have you, you know, the possibilities are endless. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so now for the multiple. Now, it is a pretty substantial multiple. However, it does work. It's a multiple of 50 chains plus an additional seven. Now, as always with so many of these tutorials, I strongly suggest do a swatch first to see how you like it and also how many multiples based on your swatch you're going to need for the end width that you are looking for for your project. Can't stress that enough and it really, really does help and saves a lot of time and effort in the long run. And also, it gets you used to how the pattern works. So, for today, I'm going to be doing two multiples of 50, so that's going to be 100 chains, and then adding on the additional seven. All right, so get your swatch ready, and I will meet back up with you. All right, first things first with row one. Now, I already have 100 chains all set to go. I just need to add an additional seven. So, one, two, three four, five, six, and seven. Now into the seventh chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so in the seventh chain from the hook, double crochet. Okay, and then chain one. 
skip three chains and into that fourth chain, double crochet and double crochet into the next two chains as well. And also this first row that we are doing, this foundation row, it is not going to resemble a chevron at all, but over, over time, uh, with some progress, it will definitely shape up. So it's okay, you know, we will get there. So from here, chain one, again, skipping three chains into that fourth chain, double crochet, chain three and double crochet into the same stitch. So double, one, two, three, and double into that same chain. Chain one, skipping three chains into the fourth chain, double, and double into the next two chains as well. So basically what we're doing right now is we are creating groupings of three and sort of open arches. Open arch, grouping of three. Now, what we're going to need actually is five of these groupings of three, and that's on the uh, the side down and the side up. That's one of our repeats, one of the, the Vs of the chevron. That's um, one full repeat of the 50 chains, and we're going to do a second one because I like to be thorough. So however many multiples of 50 you did, that's how many Vs you have. So from here, chain one, and skipping three chains into the fourth, double, chain three, double. There we are, chain one, skip three chains into the fourth, double, and double into the next two chains. And then when we have reached five groupings of three doubles, then we will have reached our peak. And that will become more clear as we go on. Now for this swatch, we're only gonna have one peak in the center of the swatch, but you know, your, your piece ultimately will have more peaks. Right now we only have three, we need two more. So chain one, skip three chains into the fourth, double, chain three, and double, chain one, skip three chains and into the fourth, double, and into the next two chains, do a double. So we've got another grouping of three. Chain one, skip three chains into that fourth, double, chain three, double. Okay, that should be four at this point, yep. One, two, three, and four. So we need one more grouping, and then we will be at the peak. So chain one, and skipping three chains into the fourth, double, and then a double into each of the next two. Okay, so now at this point, this is essentially a, a full 50. So how it's going to work is it's going to come down and then we're going back up. The shaping will happen subsequently later. Um, and so right now from here, after you have your one, two, three, four, five groupings of three, the next archway 
this little guy, is going to be a double arch. So I need to chain one, skip three chains into that fourth, double, chain three, double, chain three, and double all into that same chain. And this is going to create a peak, okay? And now, with the remainder of what we have here, it's going to create another valley. So let us proceed. So chain one, skipping three chains into the fourth, double, and two more doubles alongside. Chain one, skipping three chains, double into the next, chain three, and double into the same stitch. Chain one, skipping three chains, double into each of the next three chains. Almost had it. Chain one, skipping three chains into the next, double, chain three, double. Okay, and by the way, uh, no, I do not. I, I did not write the, the pattern for this project um, since I figured that it's just a, a two row repeat. No, it's just the video. So I didn't write it up. Sorry. Because I, I, I have a feeling I'm going to be asked. So no, I do not have a written pattern for this. So chain one and then skipping three chains and then into the fourth, fifth and sixth double crochet. And there we go. Chain one, skipping three chains into the next double, chain three, double. Okay, got a bit of a tangle here. Give me one second. Okay, so I just did the arch, so chain one, and skipping three chains into the fourth, double, and then two more in the next two stitches. Chain one, skipping three chains into the fourth, Double, chain three, double. There we are. Chain one, skip three chains, double into the next, and the next two as well. Here we go. And then, last but not least, you should have, at this point, four more chains left at the end. So, chain one, and into that very last chain, double, chain three, double. Here we are. So, just to sort of like a, a quick layout of our work here. So this is where we had our peak, this sort of 
double opening here and then by the way after doing this double double eyelet double arch whatever you want to call it uh, we have one two three four five clusters of three there's always five clusters of three in between your art you know your your peak um, and the next peak now because I only did two multiples um, we're only going to have two two V's so to speak so I've got this one here and then we have this one here now if you had more multiples after doing your five groupings of three you would keep going with another double arch okay I hope this makes sense I really do um, so like for instance say you know we we did our double arch and then we did our five groupings of three well then this one would be double chain three double chain three double into that same stitch and then you would keep going with your you know uh, alternate alternating between the arches and your groupings of three making sure that you have five groupings of three okay and that will come into play with row two so let us proceed Okay, row two, row two, uh, and every even numbered row uh, for the project uh, is going to be a, a shell row, as I like to call it. So going to start by chaining up three and turning the work. Now that chaining up a three counts as a double crochet. Typically I would say chain up two, but for this project, chaining up a three is fine. So after that, into this archway here, seven double crochets for a total of eight, because this one does count. So we already have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, yes, mm hmm okay, and yes, I, I always double count, you know, again, saves you a lot of grief in the long run, so after your eight doubles, chain one, and into the second double, double crochet, chain one, and into this arch, seven doubles. We did eight initially because we're going to need that, and you'll see why later, but with this particular archway here, just seven doubles. It will make more sense as we keep going, trust me. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yep. Okay. Chain one double crochet into the second double. Okay, now this is, at this point, this is where we're going to do our decreasing, if you will. Um, so this arch and this arch, we're not going to be doing sevens, okay? Uh, we're just going to be doing three. So it's going to be three in this arch, three in this arch, and then the one in the center. And that is going to total seven, okay? Because we have seven here. And we need to maintain that seven. Again, it will make more sense later. Trust me. So from here, 
chain one, and then sew into this next archway three doubles, and then without chaining, double into the middle double, and again, no chain, into the next arch, three doubles. Okay, so quick, 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 quick recap. You know, if you don't count this end one here, there are seven doubles here, and then there are seven doubles here, and then technically speaking, there are seven doubles here, okay? It maintains the stitch count. And then from here, chain one, double crochet into the second double, chain one, into the next arch, seven doubles, okay, so that's four, five, six, and seven. Yep, good. Chain one, pull out some more yarn. And then double into the second double. And at this point, we have reached the peak of our chevron. So going to chain one, and seven doubles into this arch to begin with. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yep. Then double crochet into this double crochet. Okay, anchor that in the middle there. Then seven double crochets into the next arch. That's two three, four, five, six, and seven. Now, how I like to double count, okay, quite frankly, now this is my own personal idiosyncrasy, is, so I have four here, right? And then including that middle one, I've got four. Then that middle one, and three more is four, and then four. That, that just, that's how I do it. But ultimately, you know, inside of this arch, you need seven, and then inside of this arch, you need seven, and then you need this center one. So it's seven, seven, and one. However you count it, as long as it works, it works. All right, so now we have to go back uh, down and decrease for the second V. So let's get to it. Okay, so after doing the peak of the chevron, chain one, 
and double into the second double, chain one, and into this first arch, seven doubles. So that's two, three, four, five, six, and should be seven. Yep. Chain one and double crochet into the center double. Okay, now again, we're going to be doing another of our decreases. And what I'm, I'm going to lay this out later so that you can see better what I'm talking about. So from here, chain one and into this next arch, three doubles. And I was about to chain, no, no chain. So three doubles, then double crochet into the second stitch and then three doubles into the next arch giving us a total of seven doubles okay now chain one and double into the middle double chain one seven doubles in the arch so that's two three four five six and Come on. Seven, thank you. Okay, so I got those seven. Then chain one, double in the middle double. Chain one. Last but not least, into this last arch, a total of eight doubles. Now, usually I say, you know, do the stitch in the chain to make it all nice and pretty. In this case, just go with doing eight doubles into the chain space. This is what how I did it for my project. It's a lot easier. So we've got three, four, five, Six, seven, and almost at it. Eight. Okay, now because this probably, you're probably looking at this, scratching your head. What is Fiber Spider doing? Well, Okay, so this is one one of the V's. So we brought the middle together. This is our, our decrease, okay? And again, it will make a bit more sense with subsequent rows. So we have one V. Now, so when you start off, you have your, your grouping of eight, then a grouping of seven, and then your decrease. So it's three, one, three then a grouping of seven, and then you have your double arch. So it's seven, one, seven. And then going to the next one, grouping of seven, three, one, three. It's a total of seven, right? Another total of seven, and then seven with the one at the end, because you need this 
sort of central anchor post here, here, and this eighth one here, okay? So I do hope that I'm being clear enough and thorough enough. So yes, we are going to do a repeat, not to worry, um, but that's why I'm trying to explain all of this so that the repeat actually makes sense. So without further ado, let us continue. All right, so rows three and four are going to be the repeat. So start off by chaining up six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Turn the work. And then double crochet into this first stitch to create our end arch. Chain one. So skipping two doubles, going into the third double, and then two more, double, and double. Chain one, into this double, double, chain three, double. Chain one, skip the first two, then into the third, fourth, and fifth, double crochet. So skip one and two, then three, four, and five. And of course I have a knot. <laughs> it does happen. Okay, so chain one into that next double crochet, double, chain three, double. So double, chain three, double, chain one. All right, now here is where we did our decreasing. So going to skip these first two doubles and then double, 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 and then skipping the last two. And that's going to bring things in together a little bit more. So skipping this first one and the second one, going into the third, fourth, and fifth with double crochets. like so. Okay, chain one, and then into that next double, double, chain three, double. Chain one, into the third, fourth, and fifth doubles, do a double, so skipping one and two, so then it's third, fourth and fifth, chain one, into the next double crochet, double, chain three, double. Chain one, Skipping the first and second, going into the third, fourth, and fifth with doubles. Chain one, skipping the next two, going into the third, which is our sort of central anchor point. So skipping these two into that next one. 
double, chain three, double, chain three, and double, because we need that double arch, like so. And then we're going to work our way down the opposite side. So let's get to it. Okay, so after doing our double arch, chain one, skipping two stitches, going into the third, fourth, and fifth with doubles. Chain one into the double, double, chain three, double. Pull out some more yarn. Chain one, skipping the first two, then into the third, fourth, and fifth, double. Chain one, into the double, Double, chain three, double. Chain one. Okay, now down here we have our valley decrease, so it's going to be double, double, double. So skipping those first two and the last two, just doing those center three. So, skip, skip, then double, 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 and then skip, skip. There we are. Chain one, into that next double, double, chain three, double. Chain one, skipping the first two, going into the third, fourth, and fifth with doubles. Chain one, into the double, double, chain three, double. All right, more yarn as necessary. Chain one, skipping the first two, going to the third, fourth, and fifth with doubles. Chain one, skip two, and then in the last double, in this case, yes, going into the top third chain of that last double is advisable. So going in with a double, chain three, and double into that same stitch. There we go. All right, so that is the end of row three for our repeat. And so as you can see, it is starting to take shape. And it will, like I said, it'll become even more pronounced. The, the more you work this project, it will be more and more pronounced. Okay, so let us proceed on to row four. All right, so now row four, this is the shell row. So I'm gonna start by chaining up three. And turn the work. And then we need seven double crochets into this first arch. So 
So we've already got three, four, five, six, and seven. I need one more. I need eight total. Four and four. Perfect. Okay. So from here, chain one, double in the center double, chain one, and then seven doubles into the next arch. Now this, personally, this is the row in which I would end on, a, a row four, an even row. Personally, I think that it creates a really nice edge to the piece. So we've got two and three, four, five, six, and seven, chain one, double crochet into the middle double crochet. Chain one. All right, so now we need to do the, the decrease between here, here, and here. So into this next arch, just three doubles. Then scooting along to the center double, do a double. And then scooting along to the next arch with three doubles. Like so. From here, chain one. and double into the second double of the next grouping. Chain one, into the next arch, seven doubles. So that's two, three, four, five, six and seven, chain one, double into the middle double, chain one, and then into the first arch, seven doubles. That's two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There we go. Then double into that middle double. Anchor it down into place, then seven doubles into the next arch. Okay, so that's three, four, five, six, and seven. So we've got three and four, so that's seven. Then we have our, our anchor point, and then we've got three and four, so we've got seven, seven, and the one. 
All right, so let us proceed by working our way down the, the second valley. All right, so now we're going to work our way down the second valley. So chain one into the center double, do a double. Chain one into the next arch, seven doubles. So that's three, four, five, six, and this should be seven. Yep. Chain one into the center double, do a double. Chain one, and we get to decrease again. So it's gonna be three, one, and three. So into the chain three space, do three doubles. And then scooting right along, double in the center double. And then three doubles into the next chain three space. No chains in between. You wanna keep this nice and tight and unified. Okay, so from here, chain one, and then double in the center double, chain one, seven doubles in the next chain three space. So that's two, three, four, five, six, and seven, chain one, double in the center double, chain one, and then in the last chain space, eight doubles. Now you could do seven doubles and then a double in the third chain from the bottom. Honestly, I don't see the difference in this particular case. Sometimes it does make a bit of a difference, but this one, not really. It's okay, I, I'll keep your secret. All right, so I've already got four. And five, six, seven, and eight, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there we are. Okay, so laying this out, as you can see, it already has a a V shape to it because we are bunching, you know, the, the center together and we are creating new shells every other row, just like we are in the center here and so on and so forth. Absolutely love this. So to continue on, you just repeat rows three and four indefinitely, you know, as, as long as you want your blanket to be. And there you go. Now, the reason why I, I do stress doing a swatch like this first is because after doing a couple of repeats of rows three and four, um, what you can do is measure from here to here, okay, which is one full multiple of the 50. So you measure from here to here, and then figure out how many of these multiples that you would need for the width of the piece that you're going for, whether it's a wrap, a baby blanket, a queen sized, you know, what have you, you know, to each their own. Uh, that's why I like, if, if and when applicable, I do like to be able to give you the multiple so that you can make your piece as big or as small as you want to. 
So there you go. Just keep repeating rows three and four, and you got it. All right. Alrighty, my dears. So that is going to conclude today's tutorial. I really hope you liked it. I had so much fun with this particular piece, especially, you know, fiddling around with the different colors of ombres. I really think that they go nicely together. And like I was saying before, um, if you wanted to try to duplicate what I was doing with this particular piece, what I did was it was uh, a total of 10 rows per color. Um, so that I ended up with five of these shells. See, one, two, three, four, and then five. And then you can see my color change. And then it's one, two, three, four, five. And then my color change. And when I say five, I mean the shells, um, which would be the the, the second row uh, of the repeat. So I hope that makes sense and everything. And that's why I wanted to give you the, the full spectrum of my experience because I really like how this came out. So like I said, it was the, the true blue, the Baja blue, and the violet, if you wanna, if you wanna try to duplicate this. Um, and what I did, it was for this blanket, I did four multiples. So it was four multiples of 50, so it was 200, plus the additional seven. So for this piece, yes, it was uh, 207 chains uh, initially for the width of this piece. So play around with it, have fun. And you know, yeah, if you like this video, please give a little thumbs up button down below. You know that I appreciate your appreciation and I really hope that you make something wonderful with this. And you know what to do until next time, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day, everybody, and bye for now.